Hello everyone, welcome to the final video on negative feedback amplifiers and the final characteristic is output resistance. We are already finished all these characteristics and the last one which is remaining we are going to finish now. As the name suggests output resistance, we are more concerned about the output now. Okay, at the input side, irrespective of whichever mixer network you use, negative feedback that will, that will sample voltage will decrease the output resistance. This we have seen previously also. Similarly, if at all you are sampling the output current, then it will increase the output resistance. This is to be observed now for all the four topologies which we have studied. So let me start. Let me consider the first one that is voltage series feedback. This is the circuit diagram which we usually considered for input resistance also. Fine. Now, what is the new thing that you need to do? Over here, you need to find out the output resistance. Okay. So, output resistance meaning we have to look from the output side, right? So, certain things you all need to follow with respect to the output resistance. Okay. First thing, you need to short or open the input source. Okay. Now, which source you are going to short, which source you are going to open at the input side? If at all, it's a voltage source, you're supposed to short. Okay. If at all, it's a current source, you're supposed to open. Fine. So, over here, it is Vs. Okay. Voltage series feedback, meaning it is Vs. So, Vs needs to be, it's a voltage source, so it needs to be short okay so you can observe in this particular diagram over here there is no vs now it is just a short please take care of the abbreviations which are used they are not the same from here okay just to tell you all that how this circuit comes i have taken this into consideration okay now that is that was the first thing second thing you need to do is you need to disconnect rl okay just remove this rl for some time Okay, and do the analysis now so that analysis becomes simpler without considering RL. Later on at the end, you can find this RL. Okay, so what we do is that we find out ROF, which you can see over here down below. ROF is V by I. Okay, V by I. Okay, so ROF you are going to find, and finally, you are going to fi find the R dash of OF. Okay, ROF dash. Okay, which is going to be ROF in parallel with. R, okay that is at the end you are going to find out fine so these are the changes that needs to be done okay now what you need to do is you need to begin with the output section just like how we had begin with the input section in case of input resistance in case of output resistance you need to begin with output section okay so let's start so let's apply kvl the output section this is my output section okay this is what i was telling you all about rof and rof dash okay so Applying KVL at the output section, apply the KVL over here. So, if this is the current direction, so I will go this way. Okay. So, it is minus I R naught, minus I R naught, then minus A V V I, minus A V V I, and then so minus 2 plus, so it is plus V is equal to 0. From this, write the expression for I. Okay. See, I, I need to find out. So, write the expression for I and name that as equation 1. Okay, I hope this is clear to you all. Now, looking at the input side. Okay, now let us consider the input section. Your Vs is 0. Okay, you have Vi. Fine. Okay, and you have Vi over here. Okay, now since Vs is 0. Okay. Input voltage that is VI, I need to find out. Apply KVL in this particular loop. Again, same thing. Okay, I'll go this way minus VI minus VF is equal to 0. So, from this, I'll get VI is equal to minus VF. Okay, but what is VF? Beta times V. V was at the output. I hope you all know this. Okay, just see over here. V was at the output. Okay, that is the reason at the input side also you find. Beta times output it was. So, output is V. Fine. So, it's going to be minus is coming from here. Beta times V. Let me call this equation 2. So, I have got VI as minus beta V. 
Now put this equation two in equation one. Okay, where is vi? Vi is over here. So put it over there. So you're gonna get something of this sort. Okay. So what is gonna happen? Minus into minus, it will be plus. So it will be v plus a v beta v upon r naught. So I'll remove v common. So it will be one plus beta a v upon r naught. Now v upon i is r o f. Okay, if at all you'll remember, it is R O F is equal to V upon I. Okay, so I can arrange this in such a way that I get V upon I, which will be R naught upon one plus beta A V, and this is my R O F expression. Okay. Now, the derivation is not yet over because we have just found out R O F, but R O F is not a final output resistance. It is just for our convenience we had removed. RL, there exists RL, right? So now we need to take back that RL. So ROF is gonna be in parallel with that of RL. Okay. So that will give you ROF dash. Okay. We are gonna find that now. So to find ROF dash, ROF dash is gonna be ROF parallel R RL. So parallel combination how how we'll solve? This multiplied by this divided by this plus this. So it is going to be R O F into R L upon R O F plus R L. But what is R O F? We have already derived. So substitute over here R naught upon one plus beta A V multiplied by R L. Similarly over here, what you'll do now is cross multiply along with R L. This will be multiplied, right? Why I cross multiply? The reason being that you have the numerator side also and you have the denominator side also. This term will get cancelled off only after cross multiplication. and that's what you all observe in this particular equation that this term is not there okay it's getting cancelled fine now i have multiplied this rl inside rl into 1 rl then plus beta av rl fine so i have got a term over here r not plus rl okay down at the last step okay r not plus rl so what i'll do now is that i'll divide the numerator as well as the denominator with r not plus rl Okay. Nothing to worry. Those are simple equations. Just they are becoming big because we are doing some or the other adjustments. Okay, that's it. Just you need to know the steps. So you divide by R not plus R L. So here it will be one because R not plus R L divided by R not plus R L will give you one, and here it will remain. Okay. Now let me consider this particular huge term that is R not R L. Upon R not plus R L to be R not dash. Okay, fine. And you have beta right over here, and this is similar to what we had done earlier. All this one that is for the input resistance also. What we had done A B R L upon R not plus R L. We had written it as A B L if you all remember, because we have considered now R L. A B is without considering R L. A B L is with considering. By considering the R L, okay, so A B L is going to be A B this this particular part, okay, A B R L upon R not plus R L. Fine. So substitute it. So R R O F dash is equal to R not dash upon one plus beta A B L. This is your final expression for output resistance of voltage series feedback network, okay. and what do you observe from this your output resistance with feedback is going to be less as compared to that of output resistance without feedback why because this term is at the denominator which is going to be huge okay if the huge term is there the denominator this term will be less okay i hope this is clear to you all that completes this derivation Let's move to the next network that is current shunt feedback. Again, I have considered this current shunt network over here. Okay, this was the mistake which I was talking about. That is, it is V I upon I S because this is the main current source. Fine. Now, again the same thing. First, what you are going to do is you are going to look at the input side, check which is which source it is. If at all it is a voltage source. Short it. If at all it's a current source, open it. Okay. 
second step move with the output section remove this rl look into the network and then find the remaining things fine so this is what i was talking about okay it's open with is not equal to 0 okay it's open over here fine so you have this particular thing okay rl is removed it is detached okay now you have to look into this particular network fine so let us start apply kcl now why kcl because the output side it's a current source so you're gonna apply kcl to the output node let's have a look over here you can see the i and i naught which is present over here they are the same actually but they are in opposite directions okay so i will be minus of i naught fine now let's apply kcl if i i consider to be main current i is equal to this current plus this current current flowing through r naught and current this current but if i consider this direction this direction is opposite so what i'm going to get is i is equal to minus a i i i plus what is the current flowing through this this is the voltage across this particular resistance so it is going to be v upon r naught okay so you have i main current is equal to v upon r naught and as i told you all this this direction and this direction is opposite so it is going to be minus and not plus okay so minus a i i i let me call this as equation one now move to the input side output side it's done now move to the input side so input side if i look over here okay if at all i write the input current what was the input current this was your main source right which we have removed so it is 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 equal to if plus ii correct but so is is equal to ii plus if but what you all know that is is made zero correct it's open so it is made zero so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna write this particular equation again that is i i will be minus of i f okay so i s is made zero please make have a look over here this is not i s is equal to zero please make these changes in the circuit okay it's not i s zero i s is equal to zero over here fine now what but what is i f i f is beta times i naught so i have substituted beta times i naught over here fine so i i is minus beta times i naught fine so this thing again as i told you over here i and i naught are in opposite directions so i is equal to minus i naught so i is equal to minus i naught so i can write over here minus i so that's gonna be i i is equal to beta times i i hope this is clear to you all now substitute this let me call this equation 2 substitute this equation 2 in equation 1 so I'm gonna get i is equal to v by r naught minus a i beta i. Okay. Now get the i terms together. Okay. So it is gonna be i common one plus a i beta is equal to v by r naught. Okay. Now this i get it over here and get r naught over here. Okay. Because i is multiplied r naught is divided so r naught will get multiplied over here i will get divided over here so rof is going to be v upon i is equal to r naught into 1 plus beta i i okay after rearranging but as i told you all this is not the final expression for rof that is your output resistance it's not the final expression you all need to find out the final expression by considering rl okay so we shall do that now Again, the same things ROF dash is going to be ROF parallel RL. So, parallel combination, you all know the formula. Substitute what is ROF? That is R0 into 1 plus beta AI. Substitute, solve. Now, what to solve? Multiply this inside. Okay. And keep this as it is. After multiplying this inside, now what you are supposed to do? R0 plus RL you have got, right? So now divide the numerator and denominator by R0 plus RL. Okay. So we have done it over here. So you will get here 1 because this entire thing divided by R0 plus RL will be 1. So 1. Okay. Now again the same thing. 
let r not r l upon r not plus r l be r not dash okay and let a i r not upon r not plus r l be a i l same things okay which we have done it earlier only thing the abbreviations are going to change symbols are going to change so you're going to get the final expression of r o f dash is equal to r not dash 1 plus beta a i upon 1 plus beta a i l okay from this particular expression what do i come to know again your 1 plus beta a i l term is at the denominator side okay but at the same point of time you have 1 plus beta a i term on top okay over here so with this the derivation for output resistance is over again the task for you all okay i have given the circuit diagrams with by removing the so see i, I told you all that is is zero it's not not equal please make changes in the previous circuit okay is is equal to zero okay so again the circuit i have given it to you all but that doesn't mean that you all don't draw the main circuit first draw the main circuit for voltage shunt feedback okay considering trans resistance fine and then say that okay uh, since it's a current source at the input we need to open it okay and at the output we need to remove the rl okay now same things again what you're supposed to do look into over here okay apply kvl in this particular loop you're going to get one equation then over here use kcl okay you're going to get one expression put that expression in equation one and you will finally get rof once you get rof you need to find out rof dash and how you're going to find that by taking this in parallel with rl okay same steps you're supposed to repeat okay this is task one which you'll need to send it to me task two current series feedback circuit okay again current series feedback circuit this is the circuit which i've given it to you all okay this you're supposed to do again you're supposed to find out rof rof dash okay now this is a sort of a summary of all the configurations which we have studied which you can go through voltage series voltage shunt current series current shunt all the parameters and what happens to those parameters you can just go through fine these are some problems for practice which you are supposed to send along with the tasks which i have given i refer to books for this jb gupta and ap godse thank you